Hey, so I just wanted to make a little update video. I just noticed that the Contact Player 7 is compatible with Apple M1, M2 Silicon, which is really great. There's more and more every day that's being compatible. And uh, this, this opens up a lot of palettes and, um, you know, it running basically, uh, you, you know, you either have to run your DAW in Apple Silicon mode or Rosetta 2 if you have an M1 Mac or M2 Mac. And if you're in Silicon mode, it will only load Silicon compatible uh, third party plugins and software. So uh, this is really nice. Uh, I have uh, Ultimate 13, uh, Complete Ultimate 13, which is a pretty big library. Uh, it's not their very biggest, but it's it's a lot of their stuff. And so um, there's quite a few of these that are working, uh, these contact libraries. Um, which is great, they're doing a good job. Uh, and there's more all the time. I literally just downloaded an update to uh, Massive um, right before I hit record on this video. Uh, so there's some really good stuff that's that's coming up compatible with Apple Silicon. Uh, this interface, I don't, <laughs> It may. it's one of those deals where this may have been here all along and I just didn't know, but um, Right now, when you open up Contact 7, uh, this is the default interface for the library, and I love it. I, I really think it's great. Um, it's much better than the old interface, uh, I think. Uh, I know you could uh, hear samples of different sounds in the old interface, but it was really clunky. You had to like click on your library, and then go down and find the patch you wanted, and you know, open the subfolder and, you know, it just took so long to find sounds and this is so much easier. I mean, this, you just click on the library, your samples are right there. Just click on them and you can hear them. Um, and again, like, I think this was always the case, but just, you know, all the patterns are there. So you can hear the individual sounds in context. Excuse me, uh, and you know, and that's for obviously all of the, all of the uh, sounds. Um, you know, they have uh, the examples. It's really nice. Uh, I mean, for me, the biggest drawback of the contact library is that there's there's just way too much, and I would you know if I had clients with me or an artist with me, um, you know it just took too long to find a sound, and so I would often go to other software because it would just be easier just to find what I needed, and so hopefully with this interface, um, I would be able to use the native instrument stuff more. Uh, it's nice too. I, I noticed that the um, the Spitfire library comes up. It looks exactly the same as it did before. So I don't know if Spitfire has been uh, silicon compatible for a while, or if maybe I don't know. Maybe the Contact Player is the only thing that has to be, and then the individual libraries don't have to be. I'm not sure, but um, it's nice to have the Spitfire stuff in this interface again it just makes it faster easier to find what you need and load it uh, i did notice though when you do load it um it's the same uh, uh i have to do it here it's the same interface that um i hate <laughs> yeah remove this bubble yeah, I mean, this sucks. I, I really have such a problem with Spitfire, you know. I mean, like, these are great sounds. Playing it on a keyboard. Yeah, this, the quality of the samples in Spitfire is fantastic. This interface is horrendous. And, you know, I'm, I'm finding myself using other packages because I don't want to deal with this tiny little unscalable uh, interface half the time. So they still need to get on the ball with that. I, honestly, I think that's a Spitfire problem. They shouldn't be in contact player. They should have their own um, 
they should have their own player, you know, just like any normal, you know, like Vienna has. And, um, and they do have their own players for some of their packages, their orchestral packages. But, you know, people buy Spitfire for the strings and, you know, for the money they're charging, it should have its own player. Anyway, that's just my little beef. But uh, overall, though, uh, and the, you see this, this defaults to the old interface here. Um, so but you can go back to the library button and, and then you're back in here again. And uh, I, I love this. I think this is great. So uh, just a little update. Uh, I, it was new to me, so I figure it might be new to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you and also, I have, a com, I have the complete Ultimate 13 package. I have not upgraded to 14, but Contact Player 7 is still available. Uh, just go to your Native Access app and it'll be there. And, um, you know, it looks like a pretty good upgrade to me. Uh, so, okay. Take care. Bye-bye.